by the end of this summer, this great hole, 20 feet by 40, will be a swimming pool. Not up to Olympic standards, maybe. It's five feet deep at one end, two at the other. And every inch of it dug out by the children of a hundred or so families who live in this residential area of Limerick. Not an ounce of it was taken out by any adult. This is the back garden of the home of Mr. Jim O'Dwyer, a local architect, whose 17-year-old son, Niall, is the chairman of the children's committee, which is building the pool and finding the money for it, too. Less than a year ago, there was an orchard here. The apple trees were cut down, and selling them as logs brought in the first few shillings towards the cost of the pool. Now, Eugene, how much is the pool going to cost? Roughly £1,200. And how much have you collected altogether so 600. far? 600. 600 pounds? Yes. So you're just about halfway there, are you? Yes, about well, halfway. Well, now, how did you raise this money? Well, we began by having a concert variety show in Auckland of Fela. And we, ra we made it roughly 20 pounds in this, which helped us an awful lot. And then um, we, have a ra we have a raffle for um, Transistor Radio. We did you make any money on that? Yes. And we have dances. And how are the dancers going? Well, not too good. They're coming and picking up. Well, in the concert that you had, did you have to pay people to come and act on the stage for you or sing or anything like that? Some we had to pay, but others like were willing to come along for not and do it for nothing. Well, it's all very hard work, all this digging, isn't it? Yes, well, it's worth it for what you'll get out of it. How much time do you think you've spent now digging this great big hole here? About four months. Now, you must have had some help from the grown-ups. I mean, I know you did all the digging yourselves, but what about the plans and all the technical aspects of it? What about that? Mr. Dwyer, the boy that started it, like his parent, he said that he'd um, draw up the plans for us, and he did it, and then um, we dug the poles and things. He sort of told you what to do, where to dig and how to dig, is yes. that it? And he, he, will he look after all the technical things, like putting in the filter? Well, um, there's another man then, Mr. McMahon, and he said he'd come along and help us out. Have you been able to buy the filter yet? Yes. It's on its way at the moment. And when do you think the whole pool will be ready? When will you be able to swim in this pool? Around the September. You think it'll be ready by then? Yes. But more than big and little boys dug the pool. Girls like 13-year-old Eileen Breen helped too. Eileen, how did you help, you and all the other girls? Well, first, sir, and uh, it was last August, and I was in here at the time this, they arranged it about the pool. So I, I picked down all the apples, and I put them into the baskets, and I brought them into Mrs. O'Dwyer, and I had, some of us helped her make jam, and we um, bundled up all the sticks, and we, saw, we sold some of them, and we went to some of the meetings, and we, we, we were... Um, writing down things some of us were and we came in and we started singing to amuse them and that's all really so really what the girls are doing is helping to raise the money they're not doing any of the digging are oh they? yes ab about the grown-ups well i think that they and um, the women's committee arranged sale of works concerts and they and they were very as just as good as the men now how did you all suddenly begin to think of digging a pool in the first place. Why did you think of it? Well, I, well, first thing, I don't know now, this mightn't be true, but myself and a few girls were out over in, across the road in the Keyses, and we were looking at the trees, and there was an orchard there, and I said, oh, wouldn't it be gorgeous if we had a swimming pool? And I think, and I, after that, that night, they I thought of a swimming pool in here. Next morning, I came in. There were Taking down the trees. Digging away. Mm. Well, now, can you swim yourself, Eileen? Yeah, I can jump, but I can't dive. <laughs> well, where do you bathe? Where do you have to go to bathe now? Uh, to Corbley, about two, about a mile out. No, what, what's mile. that like? Oh, it's awful. Although all these tons of earth have been excavated by the children, finance and encouragement came from the parents. Mrs Butler, was this pool really altogether the children's idea? Oh, yes, it was completely the children's idea. How did, you, how did you first hear about it then? Well, the children came to us when they had the pool dug out, you know, and they told us they, were, they wanted money. They wanted to raise money. So we formed a parents' committee to raise the money. And uh, we collected £5 from each family. 
in the area, about a hundred families, I'd say, you know. And, and these are the families whose children will be able to use the pool. Exactly, exactly. But what did you think when they came to you and said, we want to build a swimming pool? Did it not seem a, an almost impossible thing for them to do? Well, it did, until they brought us down here and showed us what they had done themselves. I thought then it was time for the parents to move. Did you even know that they were digging this great hole in the garden? Well, we were here. Well, they brought in plenty of mud to us. I can tell you when they were doing it. We knew that time all right, you know. Do, do you think it's really a practical idea? Well, what I mean is this. How will you be able to control it once the pool is full of water? Well, from a mother's point of view, I'd say each of us will do a day here until the thing is running smoothly, you know. We'll watch the kids and that. Each mother has volunteered, really. Can they expect any official help at all? One of the adult committee is Alderman Patrick Kennedy of Limerick Corporation. Well, I think the attitude, Carl, is that we don't want um, official help at this stage because uh, it's, it's a project of local character and uh, we look upon it as a civic endeavour which has got off the ground excellently, excellently. And the only thing we would ask the corporation to do at this stage is not to revise um, the valuation here in the, uh, of this property. That could be a problem, of course, for the householder here, couldn't it? I don't think so, because uh, our attitude here is that we should encourage uh, these uh, uh, um, voluntary uh, projects. It certainly shows a fine civic spirit on, on, on the part of the children. In fact, I would go so far as to say it almost shames the city council and the corporation. Well, of course, the corporation have failed, uh, I think, in, the, in their duty to provide these um, facilities and um, the parents and the children of this area have taken the attitude that they must uh, provide these facilities themselves. And I, I look upon this as a very Im I impressive endeavour, uh, the, the provision of, of this facility for this area. There, there will obviously at some later stage be some problems about it. Uh, rating might be one of them, although you think not. Uh, the other one that occurs to me is actual running costs. Where is this going to be found? I, I would say that the running costs uh, would be quite small because this uh, this pool will only cater for approximately 150 families. And I, I would say that also that other areas would be encouraged to, um, to, to um, start projects of a similar kind in other parts of the city. Well, it's obviously a practical idea for this area where uh, people are reasonably well off, if I can put it like that. But what about in council estates? One, one couldn't uh, find a swimming pool in the back garden of a council house, could one? Well, the only thing again here is if, if the corporation were ambitious enough, they might be able to, um, to um, uh, provide, we say, a quarter of an acre of land for, uh, for such a facility.